Dear Jess, you may think that this region of Navarra is all about Pamplona, San Fermín running with the bulls, El Camino de Santiago and that sort of thing, but believe you me, there's a lot more going on, particularly in the realm of gastronomy. Today I'm only passing through Navarra, but rest assured Pete's Pounds will be back to document and catalogue all the beauty spots and culinary specialities in which this ancient kingdom abounds. Now, although Navarra has no sea coast, a dish made with cod, ajo arriero, is one of its most typical recipes, always present in traditional menus and the subject of numerous cooking contests throughout the region. It consists of shredded, desalted cod cooked with a range of chopped vegetables that make it a tremendously colourful and flavoursome dish. I've come to Olite, a small town in the centre of Navarra that was once the seat of the royal court of the kingdom in the Middle Ages. As soon as you enter Olite, it's as though you're in a fairy tale. This castle was built by the King of Navarra, Carlos III, and was said to have as many rooms as days of the year. Anyway, I'm sure you're not here for a history lesson, so let's get on with the equally majestic ajo arriero. The dish gets its name from garlic, ajo, rather than the main ingredient, cod. The second part of the name, arriero, refers to the profession of mule driving. The muleteers of old enjoyed cod cooked in this manner. So for a thoroughly authentic ajo arriero, We'll need cod, desalted by leaving to soak in water for 24 hours, changing the water two or three times. In these parts, the cod can be bought in these thin strips, precisely for this type of dish. But whole pieces of cod, skinned and boned, are fine too. Here's some first-rate Spanish extra virgin olive oil, onion, garlic, red and green peppers. Here's the dried pepper paste, so common around here, made from these dried peppers known as pimiento choricero. I'll include a link below the video, but if you can't get hold of any, Spanish pimenton or paprika powder is just fine. It's traditional to serve the ajo arriero with a fried egg, and a little chopped parsley, fresh would have been ideal, and slices of bread or toast. Oh, and this delightful Navarra red goes in the cook, not in the dish. So with all the bits and pieces nicely diced up, in a good slug of olive oil that covers the bottom of the pan, fry the peppers, onion and garlic gently for at least 10 minutes to get it all nice and soft without actually colouring it at all. Pop in a couple of these hot chilli peppers known here as guindillas. These are the tiny dried ones but any sort of chilli can be used. Now don't overdo it, Spanish dishes are never overpoweringly hot and spicy. Just a hint of spice is all that's required. Once this is nice and soft, add a small tablespoon of this wonderful pepper paste. Next, the grated pulp of the tomatoes goes in. And this is cooked down gently, patiently, until very little actual liquid remains, thus leaving you plenty of time for a couple of swigs of the Navarra Red and a stroll around this strange egg, which I've since learnt was used to keep compacted snow in for refrigeration purposes. The cod is shredded a little more and then incorporated and cooked again gently for another five minutes or until the strips start to fall apart. Sprinkle a little parsley over and there we have it. All that remains to do is to fry the egg and serve with the bread. Thankfully I'm still cycling straight as I head off through the lovely fairy tale town of Olite and towards the neighbouring region of La Rioja for plenty more on-location culinary specialities. Buen apetito desde Navarra. Mm -hmm.